So my dudes Valk here, and today I'm going to talk about a unit that I do not own yet again. Shocker. Shocky walkie. Um, I'm going to be giving my thoughts today on one that was highly requested, which is Ganyu. I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the Coco Goat. Le Milky the Goat. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about her. What do I think of her? I think she's extremely simple. She's literally Amber's kit, but 20 times better. It's the exact same kit Amber has, even down to the ult, the skills the exact same, everything's the same, but she's so much better at it. If you don't, if you somehow, some way have closed your eyes and never, ever watched YouTube videos so you don't know what Ganyu does, if you just like never seen the amount of people that use Ganyu, then let me go ahead and describe to you what she does. Ganyu is a bow user. She shoots a bow. Shocker. And whenever that arrow hits an enemy, it bursts apart into two hits. And each one hits like a freaking truck because her multipliers are nuts. So Ganyu, outside of that Ganyu skill, whenever she uses her skill, it puts down a little flower that taunts him. And then her ult is like Amber ult but covers the entire field. It's about the size of Jean ult if you look. It's around the size of Jean's ult. I think it's a little bit bigger actually. And all it does is summon down cryo sickles that constantly inflict cryo and deal pretty good damage. But the main thing is her charge attack. She's really good at C0, even better at C6, and absolutely phenomenal DPS that will probably never get power crept because she can trigger melt, just like Hu Tao, and that allows her to deal nutty damage. I'm sure you guys have seen so many videos. But yeah. What are my thoughts on her? Why didn't I summon for her? I didn't summon for her Shao, to be honest. I didn't but even if I got her, I wouldn't use her that much simply because I'm not really that into bow users. It's not really my play style, but what's not for me could be for somebody else. Plain and simple. I don't like characters that, you know, just have to pew, pew, play Call of Duty, basically. That's just my opinion. Keep in mind, I'm not going to deny that she is extremely good, like stupid good, like one of the best units in the game good. Um, Ganyu is incredibly good, um, but... It's just the play style is interesting. I mean, for people on PC, I can promise you they probably love her play style because all they gotta do is click heads. But with console, with the sensitivity being as low as it is, and it makes it really pain in the butt to aim with bow users, I'd rather not. Just me. Once again, just me. But yeah, my thoughts on Ganyu. Absolutely broken character. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. One of the best hands-down DPS in the game. In the game. And because of that, she's able to just out DPS basically anybody given the right setup with uh, Melt. So yeah, she can also trigger uh, Wide Freeze. If you pair her with Child, you're basically going to AoE freeze everything and just dish out tons of AoE damage. But yeah, she's an absolute monster. If you have Ganyu, let me know what you do with Ganyu in the comment section below. Don't let me know that. Don't let me know that much. I mean, let me know like how you enjoy Ganyu, not, not what you do in your private time. With images of Ganyu, you dirty, dirty person. Um, what you use Ganyu for, and if you enjoy Ganyu, let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you all for watching, as always. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep doing these my thoughts videos. It's kind of become a repetitive meme. I think this might be one of the last ones. I might just stick to five stars from now on our new units. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you all for watching, as always. Catch you later. Peace.